Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Imuna Project. We here at the Imuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to education, inspiration, um, guidance, and um, I want to uh, tell you a story with respect to Kirov. Um, Kirov means to draw someone close, and those of us in the Kirov business, how to draw uh, people closer to God, closer to an observant uh, life. And um, my understanding is that one of the masters of Kirov was uh, Rabbi um, Aaron of Karlin, a Hasidish Rebbe. And I'll tell you a story with respect to uh, how he would makarov one particular uh, person. Um, there were these parents, and um, they had a son. And this son had zero interest in studying Torah or any kind of religious observance. It just it didn't interest him. He was doing poorly in school. He's a, he's a kid. He was just doing very poorly in school, and his parents were just very, very worried. And they would go to, to a rabbi, and they would go to, to other religious people, uh, trying to do something, trying to help their son get interested in, in Judaism, get interested in Yiddishkeit and having a religious life. Kid had zero interest. Well, they heard that the Rebbe Aaron of Karlin, this Hasidish Rebbe, was coming to visit their town. They were, they were very, very hopeful, and they went to see um, Rabbi Aaron. When they got to the place he was uh, saying, uh, staying, uh, the shul, the house, there was already a very long line of people waiting to see the Rebbe, and they were the last. <clears throat> they stayed in line all day. And they were at the very, very end. They were the last people to go into the room to speak to Rabbi Aaron of Karlin. They explained the situation to the Rebbe. The Rebbe frowned and growled. He says, "So oh, he doesn't want to study Torah, eh? Well, you you leave him with me. I'll 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 give him a good talking to, and you know, by that, you know, give me an hour with this kid, and, and you'll see. He, you know, I'll fix him." parents were a little worried, frankly. He was very gruff and very, you know, very rough, and, but he was uh, the Baron of Karlin. I guess they put trust in him. He says, come back in an hour. They go out, he closes the door. This kid is standing there with his arms crossed and his face set. He had grown from being ambivalent to now being defiant. Didn't want anything religious. Just dug in his heels. Rabbi Aaron went to the boy, looked at him in the eyes. They had a very piercing glance. The boy looked up at, looked up at uh, Rabbi Aaron. Rabbi Aaron very gently put his arms around the boy and gave him a very soft hug. The boy at first, you know, resistant. He, didn't know what was going on. But he sensed that the hug was genuine, that this person was real. And eventually, the boy relented and allowed himself to be hugged very tightly. The boy, his name was Mordechai, the boy put his head against Rabbi Aaron of Karolin's chest and heard his heart beating strongly. They sat and they talked, just talked. An hour later, there was a hesitant knock at the door. Rabbi Karlin gets up, opens the door, he says, here's your son. And, and the parents says, is, 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 is everything okay? Is he gonna be all right? You'll see, you'll see he, uh, how he's changed, you'll see. The boy goes out is with his parents. On the way home, they stop at a butcher shop. They order a cut of meat. The butcher, who is normally a, a very nice man, is very gruff, slams the cut of meat on the counter, asks for you know, the price. Little Mordechai 
looks at the butcher. And as, they're, as they walk out of the butcher shop, he says to his mother, he seemed very upset. He seemed very angry. And my mother said, yes, he did. And little Mordecai said, I wonder what happened to make him so angry. What must have happened today to make him so angry? The parents were amazed. The boy had never spoken like this before. A week or two later, the young boy sees two men arguing over something. Some piece of property, some piece of livestock. And they were getting very upset and it looked like they may have been coming to blows. Little Mordechai offers a solution. This is a solution that both parties couldn't see because they were so upset. And they ended up settling word got around and eventually people started bringing their disputes to little Mordechai. And he studied, he learned, he excelled. And eventually um, this little boy grew up to be uh, Rebbe Mordechai of Lechovitz, himself a Hasidic Rebbe. He was sitting one time uh, at a gathering of his Hasidim. And he was also, in addition to being a scholar and a very uh, expert in halacha and Jewish law, this boy, who is now Rebbe Mordechai uh, of Lechovitz, he had a gift of, of how to makar of people, of how to bring them closer to God. A knack like no one had ever seen. And one day, one of his Hasidim said, Rebbe Aaron, <laughs> you, you've, you've makarved people that we thought were hopeless, people who've never been observant, people who have been observant their whole lives and then have fallen away, and the hardest, people who were not observant, who were balei tshuva, who became observant and then fell away. These people are practically impossible to bring back. And yet, how do you do it? Where did you learn this? And young Rabbi Mordechai said, everything I learned about Hashem, everything I learned about how to draw people close to Hashem, everything to do with love of the Jewish people, how this is royal, I learned from Rabbi Ar of Karlin when I heard his heart beat and when, and when I let him hug me. Everything I needed to know to be a rabbi, I learned in that hug. That's where I learned how to be a rabbi. And um, that story always, uh, always moved me. Uh, because in my early years, <clears throat> it took me a long time to, to, to learn the lesson that little Mordechai uh, the Rebbe uh, of uh, Lechovitz learned in one hug. Um, it took me a long time to realize that these, the effective way, that the only real successful way to makar of someone is through love, to show them love, to bring them close by love. Um, arguing, uh, disputing, uh, debates, proof texts, that's a, that's a spectator sport. Um, I don't do that anymore. Um, it's not effective. Um, but that was my story of um, Rabbi Arn and how he was able to makar of someone through love. And we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Imuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.